Last week, we started sharing the maintenance that we have to live on our boat. This week, we'll continue sharing even more maintenance. We are a family of five from Texas who sold everything to live full time on our 1987 Marine Trader Tradewinds 47. We have three boys, Carter, Chase, and Caleb. We also have two cats aboard, Cheddar and Tiger. For two years, we have enjoyed cruising, exploring, beautiful sunsets, loads of family fun, and brotherly bonding. We also enjoy exploring the water, snorkeling, and diving. In the Florida Keys, the Bahamas, and who knows where to next. We want to say a special thank you to all of our patrons. Maintenance continues. Uh, everything molds on a boat. So I'm replacing everything in the bathroom today. I got new shower curtain, new rug, new towels, everything. Um, it just grosses me out. Chris needs something. Chris needed help with this project. He's putting the battery monitor in. It's raining outside, so we're just making it project maintenance day. This is a before. Real boat life is when you're working on one project and another project pops up. So I'm in the middle of cleaning the bathroom. Ooh, like progress, right? And um, I paused to make lunch, unfortunately. Then I popped the inverter, making lunch. And now the inverter won't come back on. So Chris was working on the generator, and now he's back to working on the inverter. So he's a little frustrated. Chris was so baffled trying to figure out what caused the inverter to shut down. He looked all over to find the problem. Finally, he just had to call tech support. Tech support at Magnum Inverters was awesome. Uh, had me check a couple things, and he said to go to the back of the unit, check the voltage. Had no voltage. He says, I think it's a fuse. There's a fuse right here. Checked it on one side, voltage, other side, no voltage. So that is the case. Um, so we'll pop that fuse. And I think I've now gone through the whole system on the inverter. Like I've, I learned what not to do the hard way on every single time. So when I popped it with the microwave. Something surged, basically. It popped a fuse, and, okay. Yeah, but it's not like a re reset fuse. It's an inline fuse on the positive side of the battery cables. Um, so is. Here's my inverter right there. And it's this fuse right, right there that popped. Got my new fuse, about 25 bucks. Pop it in and pull on. It's working. It's just a fuse. Always something. And a little bit of after. Mom cuts our hair on the swim platform because then it just goes into the water. Another week of northerly winds blows in. It's normal this time of year. As I was filming, I saw this trawler, not where it was, trying to pull anchor. Then, to our port side, I saw a sailboat without power dragging right into another boat. At As I looked back at the trawler, 
It finally got its anchor up and headed out to re-anchor. This boat was here, remember? And he drug and he hit that boat. And he has no forward propulsion. Like, he hit the regal. And now he's dragging it. He's going to run aground. He has no way to stop that boat. This sailboat just kept going until it was too shallow to drag any further. As the storm passed and the excitement died down, life went back to normal. Good morning, and welcome to this week's edition of Talking From Our Aft. <laughs> um, we are still in the month of February, so we're still tracking all of our expenses, all of our projects, all of our maintenance. Um, I do have a tally of all the money that we're spending, so make sure to stay tuned for that at the end of February. Mm -hmm. We will go through all of that very transparent, exactly what it costs to live on a boat, specifically in the Florida Keys. Yep. But speaking of money, um, we got a question this week about um, internet and being able to work on a boat. So we got to talking about it. We thought this might be an interesting conversation. Yeah. There's a couple things like this lifestyle. It, it can take a bunch of different shapes or forms. As yeah. you, there's living on a dock. There's living at anchor. Um, there's cruising actively through the Caribbean and the Bahamas and whatnot. Right. There's circumnavigating around the world. And there's even living at anchor in one place or living at anchor over multiple places all yeah. in the same state. So if you want to travel <clears throat> full time or stay and explore one area for a while. You've, you've got like the loop, right? The Great American yeah, We've actually seen a lot of people around here with, um, what's the flag thing called at the front of the boat? Pennant or a, a pennant. Uh, they call it something else. Um, I call it the wind flag. <laughs> wind decatur. <laughs> um, we've seen a lot of people around this anchorage right here with it's I'm going to get it all wrong but it's like the A G L R the American Great Loop Association or Yes like that. and so they all have the same pennant wind flaggy thing and um cuz they all come down to the south for the winter but it's really cool cuz they're doing the American Loop so they're moving anchorages every week or so So we found that in the states in general you've got pretty good Wi-Fi mm -hmm. as far as uh, like hotspots off cell, cell phones and stuff like that you have to find the plan that works for your data usage, of course. But we've yeah. been able to stream um, Disney, you know, Plus. Disney <laughs> Plus and Amazon Prime and all that stuff. As far as, like, costs, I mean, it's definitely cheaper on Anchor, but mm -hmm. Florida Keys is super expensive for dockage. Yeah. But if you yes. wanted to live on a dock and, and stuff like that but still be on a boat up northern Florida, up into the Carolinas and stuff, there's some very reasonable dockage up in that area so um still you have the, you have the opportunity to do something like that hey buddy our, to visit. our cat's been he's doing good still extra lovies um and then like marina wi-fi is hit or miss depending on the marina mm -hmm. so but that is another option um to look at if you wanted to work mm -hmm. as far as the bahamas go we go we found that they actually had pretty darn good service uh, between a live and BTC and then of course you could take your own plan like a T-Mobile or AT&T Verizon You could take those and use if you had an international plan you could go over there with it But we met lots of people in the Bahamas that were currently working now, This was during us. this was during the pandemic when Everybody was working remotely, but the, right. if there was I guess I would say one good thing that kind of came out of the pandemic was All of a sudden employers were like, oh, that's an okay thing. We can do that. So I think there's a lot more remote mm -hmm legit jobs work from home jobs as you will you see a lot of scams but i think there's a lot of jobs you can work remotely especially in the tech industry and we found that there was plenty of good internet in the bahamas for that i actually thought on occasion that bahamas internet was better than in the florida keys in the florida keys i feel like it's actually better on anchor than in a marina 
at our marina, if it blew more than 15 knots of wind, the marina Wi-Fi would go out. That just seemed weird. I know I've heard that it's not related, but okay. every time it blew over 15 knots of wind, the marina Wi-Fi yeah. would go out. Um, the, interestingly enough, the Bahamas actually had a special visa. I don't know if they still have it or not, but for a while there, they had a visa. I think they still do. If you had a remote mm -hmm. job, you were from a foreign country and you were going to work remotely in the Bahamas, they would let you stay for longer yeah. than eight months. It was like a year or two because they knew you weren't actually taking a local's job. You had the job, you came with it, you're continuing to do it, and so you're pouring into their economy. So we met couples that would just move yeah. their boat from marina to marina and they'd change islands every two or three months and they'd you know, take four or five days off to move the boat mm -hmm. and then they'd continue to be in that area. Uh, we knew people that rented houses or rented apartments and just worked there mm -hmm. and then again they could do a six month lease and then they could fly to a different island if they wanted to. So that's another way of kind of traveling without having to have a boat if you have a remote job. So um, if you've never heard of that, something to look into in the Bahamas. Uh, what else? I think that's all I can think of really for the internet. Um, we don't do internet jobs. We actually just live on Anchor and have like a brick and mortar in person job. And so you can still do that living on a boat in every city you go to or stay or change jobs every three months. Um, the big advantage to having the one like that. that's remote is you could go to another country with it because you're not taking a local job. Yeah. And if you have a cool boss that knows where you're at and doesn't have a problem with it, awesome. We met quite a few people who whose bosses didn't know they were in the Bahamas and they would put up the fake screens in the back or, you know, put on a... They, they, I knew one couple, they checked the weather. Don't say their names because their, no. their work does not know their But remote. they would check, the, they were from somewhere up north, and so they checked the weather, and if it was cold up there, then they would like put on a jacket or a heavy sweatshirt just for their, yeah. they'd be in you know, board shorts, but for their video call, they'd put on something yeah. to match the weather up north. And they'd make sure they'd check it so they knew yeah. the, what the chit chat conversation, you know, Talk oh, about, how about oh, that storm, man, or how much snow did you get? And, yeah, <laughs> exactly. That was funny. Anyway, I hope that helps. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you've got any other questions, stuff you'd like to talk about, feel free to drop those in the comments. Shoot us a message on our social media. Um, like, like Jolene said, just come back uh, in a week or two when we get towards the end of February and we'll share our budget for the month and what we spent. So other than that. Thanks for watching. And remember, enjoy the journey.